I'm sure you noticed by now that we use the VON and VBind directives quite a lot in Vue.js. Wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have to type that out explicitly every time? Fortunately, Vue.js provides shorthand syntaxes for these two directives. Let's use a button with a click event listener as an example. Instead of prefixing click with V on and a colon, we can simply replace the prefix with an at sign. Therefore, we can simply write at click equals and an expression. So let me just do this on this button right here. So I can write an at sign click, which is the name of the event. And the expression is the same as always. So running the code, we'll see that both buttons give the same result. So the at sign is used for events, followed by the name of the event. Similarly, we can shorten the vbind directive syntax as well. The shorthand for this directive is simply a colon, followed by the name of the attribute to bind to. In this case, we're binding to the title attribute. So we just write colon, title, and the expression. So let me do that on the second paragraph down here. Colon, title, and the expression is going to be the same. So if I hover my cursor over both of these paragraphs, you will see that the result is the same. While this syntax may look strange and unlike any other HTML markup you have seen before, these attribute names are actually valid HTML attributes, although they won't actually do anything without Vue.js. Like I said, it may look a bit strange at first, but don't worry, it's not going to appear in the markup that's rendered once Vue.js is bootstrapped. So if you were to inspect elements containing these attributes, you will not see any sign of them in your browser's inspector. So why didn't I mention this before, you might ask. First of all, I apologize for keeping you in the dark until now, but instead of starting out by using this syntax, it's good for you to keep in mind that when you're using these shorthand syntaxes, you are in fact using the vON and vBind directives. This makes it easier to understand what actually happens when using these shorthand syntaxes, instead of just using them and not knowing what actually happens behind the scenes. That being said, these shorthand syntaxes are the most common way to use these two directives, and this is also the syntax that you will see me use throughout the rest of this course. This completes the walkthrough of the fundamentals of Vue.js, and thereby this section of the course. Of course, there are more fundamental concepts of Vue.js, such as components and forms, but subjects like these are quite big and will therefore have their own dedicated sections. In the next section, we are going to put all of this theory into practice by building a sample application. So, see you there.